everyone, I'm Emily, an honors computer science student at the University of British Columbia and software engineer. I previously interned at Replit and Cloudflare, and I've been using Vim for all my internships, course notes, and personal planning since high school. Today, I'm going to share my terminal-centric note-taking workflow based on a combination of NeoVim, FuzzyFind, and RevRef. This setup has served me well throughout my years at university. I've famously become the person that takes all their notes in Vim and sometimes get curious questions from people wondering It's flexible enough for both lecture notes and law form writing and features a set Ocasin inspired linking system. In case you're curious, this is my setup. I use Manjaro Linux, NeoVim with a reasonable set of plugins, and a monochrome gray color scheme that I made myself. With regards to plugins, I'd particularly like to call out fuzzyfind.vim and goyo. I'll speak to fuzzyfind.vim later, but Goyo is a plugin that sets the width of your terminal buffer to be narrower than usual, which helps with readability, especially when writing in prose format. It also disables a lot of distracting status line or Git plugins if you use them. Fuzzyfind is a command line interactive fuzzy finder with a very pretty interface, and fuzzyfind.vim is its Vim wrapper plugin. Fuzzy finders are tools that help find approximate patterns instead of doing an exact text match, like grep would. It can help find files or phrases that have words in sequence, for example. Grep grep, on the other hand, is a tool that actually executes the searches, like grep. It's much faster than other search tools, supports recursive search and file types, and respects your .ignore files. I'll admit I don't use very much of the full functionality of either of these tools but their speed and interface make for a great note-taking experience. Now let's set it to Vim and see what my system looks like. First, let's look at the file structure of my system. If you know of it, my note-taking system is inspired by the Zettelkasten methodology of small atomic notes. While Zettelkasten purists tend to really advocate a flat file approach, with a common argument being that links between nodes should serve to connect and group files instead of imposing a decision of what folder a note should go in. However, I opted for using a hierarchical structure because I take notes over several disparate areas, like courses, and because it makes things easier to navigate visually in Vim. Here, I just use Vim's built-in vanilla file manager. A benefit of an entirely plain text productivity system is that everything can be backed up through Git. I keep a private repository on GitHub and just run a sync script every time I log in to commit the changes in the note repository back into GitHub. As for the structures of each of the files, they're plain markdown. I don't use any particular flavor since I never render my notes and prefer to review them inside Vim. I take math courses too, so I often have to take notes on equations or solve problems within my notes. Because I don't render my notes, there's no point in using something like MathJox, though plugins for that do exist. Instead, I use a LaTeX-inspired syntax and format my math like so. For special characters like the delta triangle, I tend to just insert them in mine instead of using a slash delta. I used to use Vim's built-in digraph system, where you can press Ctrl-K and a sequence, like Ctrl-K, capital V star to insert the delta. It solved me well for notes, but I now use Xcompose so I can use the same input sequences across all my apps. Where things start to get interesting with FuzzyFind and RibGrab is the searching aspect of my notes. To access my notes, I wrote a small bash alias that would spawn a ripcrap search in my notes directory, and pipe that through to fuzzyfind so I could use the search interface, then open those selected files within Vim. I archive some of my notes from the search, like course notes from past terms, just to improve performance and to avoid cluttering up the search results. When inside Vim, I search for my notes from the root of my notes directory with leader gg. This is a remap of the fuzzyfind.vim gfiles command, which iterates through all the files stored in the git repo that it's currently in and pipes it through to an interactive fuzzy find window within Vim. This command is handy because my directories are often nested and it's annoying to have to cd back to the root directory just to get to a note. Fuzzyfind.vim's preview window is invaluable for, uh, to avoid having to remember specific file names, so I can just browse through the contents of each file. I also have fuzzyfind.vim set up to open results in a new vertical split by default. And there are some options for, for example, new tab and new horizontal split. This lets me cross-reference work side by side. For file content search, I use leader s8, which is a keybind to a ripcrip call that includes all file contents. 
I know it looks scary, but I have to use a custom call to fuzzy find grep because I wanted to limit the scope of my grep to just my notes directory. The bang and nargs bit is necessary because I wanted to be able to remap this command as a general purpose grep that I could call with and without arguments. I mentioned earlier that my Nokian system is inspired by the Zettelkasten system, which relies heavily on links between notes. I've homebrewed my own linking system in Vim because I'd initially wanted to learn more about RoomScript, though there are existing solutions for wiki style notes. My link format looks like so. I chose it because I never typed this in normal note taking and because it stands out visually. I have these auto commands set up to highlight them a light purple so they stand out even more within my notes. To create a link, I have a visual mode remap for leader CL that surrounds the current selection in parentheses and adds the markup. And to search for links, I've remapped leader LN to get the contents of the link, remove all the markup, and call the same big rip rip command that leader SE did. This comes up with all the other instances of that link phrase in my other notes, regardless of if they're explicitly tagged or links or not. This helps me surface implicit links serendipitously and see where I might be connecting different ideas. Fuzzy Find shines here in being able to match tags fuzzily. So for example, if I have a tag for War1812, I'd be able to find notes mentioning the War of 1812 and wars that ended in 1812 and so on. This pop-up here is also a fuzzy find window, so I can continue to interactively refine my search and preview my search results. In discussion centric classes, I need to be able to differentiate what points my peers have made and what I've contributed, so I can properly reference them later. For this, I've set up some quick insert wrote me wraps to leader MN and leader CN for my note and classmates note respectively. I know there are solutions like ulti snips for a snippet expansion and management, but I only have two, so the overhead seems unnecessary. From here, I've set up some custom syntax highlighting match groups so that I can color the links as well. I think the ease of setting up custom Vim syntax highlights or custom behavior in general for one-off things like this is one of the things I value most in Vim. I also have a few custom highlighting groups for unresolved and resolved questions. Because the rest of my notes are so monochrome, these stand out super well. That's been a whirlwind tour of my Nokian system. The main takeaways I'd love for you to leave with are that Fuzzy Find and RibGraph are killer for searching files, as they're so performant and allow for interactive previewing, that you can implement a flexible linking system with Fuzzy Search, and that Vim supports snippet expansion and custom highlighting in a relatively ergonomic way. I write full essays and draft assignment work in Vim on top of the system as well. It's allowed me to connect my learning in an intuitive way while being fully plain text and portable. I love how flexible and extensible Vim and UVim are. In the past, I've tried integrating a spaced repetition quiz system, ASCII diagramming tools, and an extensive Zotero collection within UVim. And in the future, I'd like to experiment with ways to resurface notes programmatically by last edit date, for example, tie in better with my terminal coloring system, and integrate more resource deep links within my notes. That's it for me today. I'm a big nerd for personal knowledge management, so if you'd like to chat about it or want to get in touch, my email is on the screen here. You can find me on the internet at qb.sh and on LinkedIn as well if you know of any software engineering or research internship opportunities. I've left a link to my dot files on my GitHub, and yeah, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, y'all.